The World Trade Center Site Memorial Competition was an open, international memorial contest, initiated by the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation according to the specifications of architect Daniel Libeskind, to design a World Trade Center Site Memorial later renamed the National September 11 Memorial on a portion of the World Trade Center site. The competition began April 28, 2003 and the winner—Michael Arad and Peter Walker's reflecting absence—was revealed January 14, 2004 in a press conference at Federal Hall National Memorial in New York City. The contest garnered 5,201 entries from 63 nations and 49 U.S. states, out of 13,683 registrants from all 50 U.S. states and 94 nations, making it the largest design competition in history. History On March 5, 2002, Governor George Pataki, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation LMDC jointly announced plans for an interim memorial to the victims September 11, 2001 and February 26, 1993 World Trade Center attacks. On January 2, 2003, LMDC and Port Authority announced that a series of public meetings would take place to discuss a future World Trade Center site memorial. The selection jury for the World Trade Center site memorial competition were announced on April 10. The competition began on April 28, when the guidelines were released, registration was opened. The LMDC accepted questions from competitors between April 28 and May 18, which were answered on its website on May 23 and removed at the end of the competition. Potential entrants were given until May 29 to register for the stated purpose of gauging the volume of entires. On May 15, the LMDC announced that it had received registrants from all 50 U.S. states and 70 other nations. On May 30, the LMDC announced that 13,683 competitors had registered from 94 nations. Submissions were accepted from registered entrants between June 9 and 30. On July 17, the LMDC announced that 5,201 submissions had been received, representing competitors from 49 U.S. states and 63 nations. The LMDC displayed the eight finalists in the Winter Garden on November 19. On January 6, 2004, the selection jury named Michael Arad and Peter Walker's reflecting absence as the winning design, which was displayed publicly January 14. On February 19, 2004, all 5,201 entries on its website were made available on the LMDC's website. On April 8, the LMDC announced the creation of an advisory committee to ensure that the competition guidelines are incorporated into the final design, which had undergone revision since January 14. On April 13, the LMDC announced that associate architect Davis Brody Bond would assist Arad and Walker with their final design. The online searchable archive of entries still exists one, now under the auspices of the Memorial, Museum. The archive has only been reviewed in its entirety once for research memorialvisions.com <laughs> Guidelines There were five required. 
program elements Recognize each individual who was a victim of the September 11, 2001 and February 26, 1993 attacks Provide an area for quiet visitation and contemplation Provide an area for the families and loved ones of victims Provide a separate accessible space to serve as the final resting place for the unidentified remains from the World Trade Center site. Make visible the footprints of the original World Trade Center towers. In addition, entrants were expected to conform to the following guiding principles. Embody the goals and spirit of the mission statement. Convey the magnitude of personal and physical loss at this location. Acknowledge all those who aided in rescue, recovery, and healing. Respect and enhance the sacred quality of the overall site and the space designed for the memorial. Encourage reflection and contemplation. Evoke the historical significance of the worldwide impact of September 11, 2001. Create an original and powerful statement of enduring and universal symbolism. Inspire and engage people to learn more about the events and impact of September 11, 2001 and February 26, 1993. Evolve over time entries were examined by LMDC staff prior to jury review to determine whether they met the competition requirements. Although the jury was allowed to review the list of ineligible submissions, the LMDC itself was to make the final determination. Topic selection jury The jury was selected by the LMDC in consultation with the mayor and governor. It consisted mostly of architects and artists but also individuals with other affiliations, Paula Grant Berry, victim family member, LMDC Families Advisory Council Susan K. Friedman, President of the Public Art Fund Vartan Gregorian, Ph.D., President of the Carnegie Corporation of New York Patricia Harris, Deputy Mayor for Administration for the City of New York Maya Lin, artist, architect, winner of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Design Competition Michael McKeon, Governor Pataki's Director of Communications, the Governor's Chief Liaison on September 11 issues to City Hall and Family Groups Julie Menon, President and Founder of Wall Street Rising Enrique Norton, Architect Martin Puyer, Artist Nancy Rosen, Public Artist Lowry Stokes Sims, Ph.D., Executive Director of the Studio Museum in Harlem Michael Van Valkenborough, Architect James E. Young, Ph.D., Professor and Chair of the Department of Judaic and Near Eastern Studies at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Honorary Member David Rockefeller Philanthropist Topic Finalists The jury selected 8 finalists Norman Lee and Michael Lewis's votives in suspension Joseph Carradine and HSIN Yi Wu's suspending memory Bradley Campbell and Matthias Newman's Lower Waters Pierre David, Sean Coriel, and Jessica K. Metovic's Garden of Lights Kasela Borman, Sawad Brooks and Jonas Coas Meyer's Passages of Light, Memorial Cloud Toshio Sasaki's Inversion of Light Brian Strawn and Carla Sierralta's Dual Memory Michael Arad and Peter Walker's Reflecting Absence Topic: Reflecting Absence 
Michael Arad and Peter Walker's reflecting absence consists of a field of trees interrupted by two large voids containing recessed pools, marking the footprints of the Twin Towers. The deciduous trees swamp white oaks are arranged in rows, forming informal clusters, clearings and groves. The park is at street level, sitting above the Memorial Museum. The World Trade Center site is a bathtub, as the area was excavated to construct the original World Trade Center and the earth was used to build Battery Park City, a neighboring residential community. The names of the victims of the attacks including those from the Pentagon, American Airlines Flight 77, and United Airlines Flight 93 and the 1993 bombing are inscribed on the parapets surrounding the waterfalls, in an arrangement based on "...meaningful adjacencies." A portion of the slurry wall, approximately half of what Daniel Libeskind originally wanted to preserve, originally designed to hold back the Hudson River, will be maintained in the museum. Topic See also Daniel Libeskind National September 11th Memorial and Museum September 11, 2001 Attacks World Trade Center World Trade Center Site